you're back, we're back, and we got Bob Dylan on the channel for the first time. I'm Phil, and... I'm Sam. Welcome back, guys. And like I said, Bob Dylan is making his appearance after... Over 600 videos. We're finally getting to some yeah, Bob Dylan. First time. I'm excited. I don't know much about him. I don't think you do either, right? I do not. I, I've heard the name, yeah, Bob Dylan. Same. I feel like I've heard that people love him or they hate him. But okay. I but I don't. And that I makes hate, me a little bit nervous. He hate, hates a strong word. But I think it, he's obviously very well known. And yes. he's got like, I don't know if it's like six decades or 50, five, 50 years, 60 years, something. Of, Lots of material. Of material that he's put out. And clearly he's a legend. But I think it's, you know, one of those situations where people, like I said, have really loved what he's done. You either really got into it resonate. or you didn't. Yeah. yeah. And um, so one other thing I've heard as well is his songwriting, that he's very much well known mm. for his songwriting Interesting. capabilities. And, you know, cool. that's why he's a legendary figure is because yeah. he's wrote, written so many great Lots songs. Lots of talented songwriting. Yeah. And yeah. so the only reason we were, we were arriving to Bob Dylan is because we had a request from Mark, who's... Tremendously supported the channel. So yes. Thank you so much, Mark. Really, thank really do so appreciate much. it. Give us some. In, you've given us some insights on different uh, artists as well. Yeah, so, such an educational journey. Yeah. So you've now got us to Bob Dylan, and we're doing ISIS, which was his request, and he suggests that we do the lyric video, probably because of the songwriting component and the lyricism that Bob Dylan has. And yeah. I've heard he's kind of like a poet, so we'll we'll find Ooh, find cool. out about that. Which I like. I like lyrics. I mean, we both kind of lived under a hip hop rock. Yeah. But one of the things that's much stronger i think for hip in hip hop is the focus on lyrics than yeah. you know in other uh, genres so mm -hmm. um i love lyrics and uh i'm excited to check this one out as usual guys make sure you like subscribe comment all that good stuff and just one more thing before we get started we have a little quiz question Pop for quiz you quiz time and the question is what other form of artistic expression is bob dylan well known for and We'll give you that answer at the end of the video. Sam's yes, going to give you that answer. I will. So you better stick around. All right. Enough of the chit chat. Let's get into some Bob Dylan ISIS. of darkness and light The biting light ran through the center of town I hitched up my pony to a post on the right Went into a laundry to wash my clothes down A man in the corner approached me for a match I knew right away Something easy to catch Said I got no money Said that ain't necessary We set out that night For the cold in the north I gave him my blanket And he gave me his word I said, where are we going? Said we be back by the fort. I said that's the best news that I've ever heard. <laughs> I was thinking about turquoise. I was thinking about gold. I was thinking about diamonds and the world's biggest necklace as we rode. The canyons through the devilish cold. I was thinking about ISIS, how she thought I was so reckless. How she told me that one day we would meet up again and things would be different the next time we went. If I only could I hang on and just be her friend, I still can't remember. All the best things she said We came to the 
the pyramids all in so um i think this is kind of what i envisioned bob dylan would be like like what I, you thought the sound was when be I, like yeah well like the descriptions of him mm -hmm. you know sometimes we get you know descriptions or think we might know what an artist is yeah, like going to sound notion. like and they don't at all but yes. this is kind of what i envisioned a little bit um this song, a particular song gave me almost like a western vibe to yeah it. it's almost like even a little bit folky kind of to me yeah um uh, i think as well somebody in the comments when we did the tom petty uh video he was playing the harmonica and playing the guitar i'm pretty sure somebody had suggested that bob dylan because i had mentioned i had never seen that before and I think somebody was saying Bob Dylan does that, I mm. think, frequently. Yeah. Plays the harmonica while playing the guitar. Yeah. And we saw a visual, a picture of him doing that. Yeah. And you're hearing the harmonica. Yeah, in it's definitely one. very prevalent in this. And it's cool. I even like the, um, I'm assuming it's a violin, but the strings kind yeah. of in the background there. Yeah. So it was yeah. cool that we both, we got a violin and a harmonica and introduced pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And clearly, you know, very focused on the storytelling aspect. Mm -hmm. I, I really like that. Yeah. I love the storytelling side yeah. of things when we get into it. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the story, uh, where we're kind of going with it. Cause <laughs> You know, he kind of left on a journey and then met up with this guy. And then they said they're coming back on May 4th. And uh, I think Isis was, you know, who he married to begin with. On right? May 5th. On May 5th. That's yeah. what it said. Okay. So maybe he's that. coming back before May 4th to be back up with her on May 5th. Right. So, and then, you know, his, but his descriptions of the lyrics, I really do enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know, the way he describes and paints the picture. I, I, I think he does a very good job at yeah, kind of explaining yeah. the story. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's like I said, uh, kind of what I expected, but not at the same time in a few, a few different areas. How do you feel about the vocal? Um, I don't have a problem with it. It's fine with me. I had said in the Neil Young one that we had done mm. that I thought, you know, Neil's voice wasn't something that registered a whole lot with me. Um, I didn't think it was bad or anything. I just wasn't something I loved either. And I, but I did like the songwriting in that. Right. Yeah. And somebody else in that video, I think had said, you know, s the comparisons are made between Neil Young and Bob Dylan in that way sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I, for me, I think it's fine. Like I, I, Bob Dylan for me, no problem with this vocal. Cool. What about you? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I'm know? still figuring it out. I'll yeah. let you know at the end. Yeah. All right. I mean, you know, it's you... not that I don't like it. I just feel like it's like a little bit kind of scratchy for yeah. like what I would usually want to listen to. But I think it sits in well with the storytelling of the song. So yeah. it's like, I think it fits the song, but I don't know if it's something I'd want to listen to all the time. Yeah. I think his inflections in his voice are a little unusual. Yeah. The way he kind of highlights some of the words to make it stand out and the way he's mm -hmm. saying them. I think that is a, it's a little bit unusual. So you might need some time to get used to Bob Yeah, Dylan. I think it's just different. That's what it is. Yeah. Anyways, let's keep we'll it going. We'll see by the end of the story how I feel out. about it. Yeah. Bed at an ice. He said there's a body I'm trying to find. If I carry it out, it'll bring a good price. Plus a thing that I knew what he had on his mind. The wind, it was a howling, and the snow was outrageous. We chopped through the night, and we chopped through the dawn. When he died, I was hoping that it wasn't contagious. But I made up my mind that I had to go on. The tomb, but the casket was empty. There was no jewels, no nothing. I felt I've been had when I saw that my partner was just being friendly. When I took up his offer, I must have been mad. Back to cover. I said a quick prayer 
And I felt satisfied Then I rode back to find Isis Just to tell her I love her She was there in the meadow Where the creek used to rise Blinded by sleep And in need of a bed I came in from the east With the sun in my eyes I cursed her one time Then I rode on ahead and Before we finish, do you know what's going on here? Because I'm a little confused. Um, so from what I understood, when we went back to playing it again, I kind of got just confused for a second because I almost feel like we like stopped it right at a part where it was like transitioning. But, um, what I took from it is that the guy that was leading him got sick and yeah. then passed away. Yeah. So then he had, go he continued on the rest of the way where there was supposed to be this like treasure that they found and that there was nothing. So he ended up just burying that guy there and yeah. then leaving. And now he's gone his way back to ISIS. Yeah, okay, I got all that. <laughs> yeah, well, that's <laughs> that what was, happened. That was self-explanatory to me. What I'm saying is that I don't necessarily understand kind of the whole story coming together here. Well, maybe we need to get to the end. Yeah, but we, he left. He went on this journey. He met up with some guy, look, went on a treasure hunt, basically, <laughs> looking for diamonds and gold and all this other stuff. Yeah. Guy died along the way. Went to the treasure area. There was no treasure to treasure be found. Treasure area. <laughs> and then came back, and now he's with meeting up with ISIS again. Yeah. And he's not happy with her. Yeah, so we got to wait and see what happens. I don't know. We're just five minutes in, and I'm just like, did I miss something? That's what I'm wondering. I, from what I've gathered, no. Because there's been a I... lot of lyrics in this. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, clearly we went on this journey. But I just. I mean, like, for me, what I'm taking for it thus far is that they were married. Like, it might be like an analogy for like they were together and then they went their separate ways and he went on this this other journey and then like realized the grass isn't greener. There isn't like he's not finding what he's All looking right, for valid. somewhere that's else. A good point. Somewhere else. So now he's coming back to work on his marriage. That's that's, that that would make more sense. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. It's like <gasps> that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know because we're not done yet. That's what I was saying. Like I'm like, what am I not like, getting? What is the here? deeper meaning? Yeah. So that would make things yes. a little more clear. But we'll find. That's it. what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. Then I rode on ahead. I said, no place special. She said, you look different. I said, well, I guess. She said, you've been gone. I said, that's only natural. She said, you're gonna stay. I said, if you want me to, yes. Smile on the fifth day of May in the dress I'll in a rain. All right, so I guess, yeah, I mean, like, that was the gist of it. He left. They weren't on good terms when he left. He went away for a little bit of a trip, came back, and then she wanted to take him back in, and they agreed, yeah. and then May 5th, he, everything was all good. <laughs> yeah, and I think, like, you know, she had noted there that he said, you look different. It's almost like he had gone and worked on himself or, like, you know, the metaphorical or, like, done other things and came to the realization that he wanted to come back. Yeah. So that's, that's my 
hypothesis of the meaning could be totally off base but yeah i mean i just i guess i was focused on this journey that he was going on <laughs> yeah in light of the sounds that i was hearing with this like western feel like i was picturing him like going Coming to a desert, shootout basically <laughs> and you know going on this journey where like you said i thought maybe he was going to learn something or be led to something you know but it was more i feel like just telling this story yeah yeah, yeah. Like, like the literal literally yes. just telling the story yeah Right. And uh, so that was cool, though, because I was so engaged with it. Right. Mm -hmm. No, for I, sure. I was kind of know. like waiting to find out like what happened. Yeah. Next. I wanted to know what, how the story played out. I know. You're like positive to be like, what's going to happen <laughs> before we could find out what happened. <laughs> and I thought he did a great job as well of like in between the lyrics, adding these breaks of the musical components mm -hmm. with like the harmonica oh God, and the violin and all that stuff. Yeah. Right. So it kind of gave you a, a second to take a step back. And think about some of the lyrics maybe and then come back into the into yeah. it. Yeah. So I liked that aspect. Um it also didn't feel like seven minutes to me, like it because I was so engaged yeah, it's with the, the song. storytelling aspect. Yeah, I agree. I also think like I had said in the middle I wasn't really sure about his vocal and like by the end of it, like I wouldn't say it's my favorite vocal in the world, but I don't like dislike it. Like I thought for the song, it kind of fit in with the storytelling and the way that, you know, it was all composed together, especially with the harmonica. I almost feel like the fact that his voice is a little bit like screechier a little bit higher pitched like that fits in with like the sound of the harmonica okay so. also you know it's the first one from him so we don't know yeah like you said what the rest of his catalog might look like and um for me i just just had more of a it, it's an interesting composition in that i it's hard to classify it as well like what kind of genre it i was is. just thinking about that i'm like what even would this be because of the Western feel, it gives me the country vibes. Mm -hmm. Not like country, country, but like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, when I think of country, I think of West, Western, you know, cowboy hats and yeah. the desert and all this stuff. And that's what I picture with this song. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was definitely more of like a, a folk Yeah, like sound. I got kind of folk vibes from yeah. it. So, but, you know, that's probably why Bob, Dylan, Bob Dylan's in a lane of his own and was so yeah. original and unique because he Fair. brought his own style to the table. Anyways. I'm sure you guys want to know the answer to that pop quiz that we gave you at the beginning. Yes. I mean, probably if you're a Bob Dylan fan, you already know this. I would assume that uh, it's pretty popular in, in you know terms of his legacy. But the yeah. question was, what other artistic expression did Bob Dylan have and was known for? Yeah, and he actually has nine books featuring his paintings and his drawings. Yeah, which is pretty crazy to think that he's got a, such a legendary music career and also was you like know, shown in art galleries yeah. and stuff like that. Paintings too. So and drawings. Creatively, and... it's just on yeah. overload. Crazy. Yeah, so um, thank you so much, Mark, for that recommendation. Yes. Uh, we enjoyed checking it out. I would like to check out more Bob Dylan. I'd like to see yeah. what other stories he's going to bring to us. Me too. Um, and I'm I like here for said, storytelling. I love storytelling songs. Yeah, you guys could probably tell. I was like, "What's going on here?" I was, <laughs> I was really enjoying the lyrical component. So thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. Thank you yes. all of you for the subscriptions and the comments thanks, and likes. Guys. And it really helps with your algorithm. Gives you the content that you want when you do that stuff. Also helps with our channel. So we'd appreciate that if you want to do it now. Haven't done so already. Thank you. Other than that, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell check out our next video which will be tomorrow we drop two every single day sometimes sports sometimes comedy sometimes just like this we got music so tune in and we'll see you then thanks for watching guys see you next time